Hey there, we're Royal Canoe, and here are our five tour tips. Um, okay, number one would be get a really awesome water bottle, like this one here, uh, so that you're not a loser drinking all sorts of gross, environment-destroying plastic water bottles all tour. That's uh, first we're one. not like super high and mighty, occasionally we'll roll into a venue and you gotta drink a bottle of water, but this oh, definitely yeah. prevents you from doing that as much. Plus in the van, then you can like and you stay hydrated. up at a gas station, stay hydrated. Hydration important. Yeah, hydration very um, important. Okay, number two is, and this, as someone who's like getting deep and deep and deeper into his 30s and <laughs> is suffering just a bit of hearing issues, I would highly recommend that uh, if you are, especially at the beginning of your career, that you invest in getting some musician's earplugs. So these look kind of gnarly, so don't be afraid. Uh, that's just natural oils. Um, <laughs> but you, you really need those because I honestly did the first 10 or 15 years of my touring life without them and now I regret it and I don't want you to be one of those people who regrets it. So get earplugs. So that's number two. Um, number three. I, oh, you got one, Bucky? Yeah. Okay. Try to not eat just shit all the time. That's really a really good idea. Yeah. Um, because like, it's like really fast to get a burger and oftentimes if you're in a rush, that's your only option. But um, something that we do on the road to try to combat that is we bring like a Tupperware with like a cutting board and some knives and some plates and stuff so that we could go to like a grocery store, buy sandwich things and make sandwiches. We have a pretty competitive, like we have an Instagram account called RC Vanwich and we like make sandwiches. A bit of a competition. And grade it kind them. of takes over. Yeah. So it's kind of just become a thing that we do, but it really helps you to not eat quite as much garbage on the yeah. road. Um, okay, number four, would be, this is a very small thing, but one thing I like, you know you have your suitcase, it's completely full of your clothes, and it's really hard to, to distinguish between the dirty clothes and the clean clothes. So if you get into a hotel, you go into the closet, and they always have a little laundry bag, and I always steal the laundry bag on the first day of tour and I stuff in all my socks and underwear into there and then I always know which are my clean underwear, which are my dirty underwear. I mean, packing wise, just to go down my rabbit hole, right. we've all adopted uh, the system by That's this true. guy. I think Marie Kondo has sort of taken this over at this point, but there's this guy that wrote a book from Vancouver. What was this? He played in a band called Roco Code that we yeah. toured with. And he wrote a book called How to Pack Like a Rock Star, which is basically like you fold your stuff in like a filing cabinet sort of way, so all the shirts yeah, are like, like in drop a line. Your shirts into your so you don't have to like take out everything out of your bag to like find a shirt. You can see them all lined out, and you actually can fit way more in your suitcase, and you can see stuff. Plus, add a bounce sheet into your suitcase for extra freshness. Oh, I don't do that. I should yeah, do that. that's good. See, you always learn new things. Yeah. Uh, number five okay. would be... Okay, number five. Fifth Turing. Okay, I have one. Okay, do it. Uh, try not to just look at your phone the whole time, oh which God, is like yeah. the hardest thing to do when you're like mindlessly killing time in the van. Um, I'm going to talk like I'm good at not doing it, but I look at my phone all the it's time. It's really hard time. though, because yeah. like you're staring at the same terrain, you're on these big interstates or like a large highway, and you're just seeing the same thing constantly go by, and you have to just try to find a way to like keep your mind engaged, yeah. because you're, you're just going to Swiss cheese that thing. And I, I feel it, I, I keep feeling it every single day, the more I spend time on my phone, it's, I don't know, they need to, they need to investigate this, yeah. there's something, something dark going on there, <laughs> Tim Cook. We're on to you. <laughs> so yeah, books, I don't know, books crossword puzzles, uh, chatting. Chatting with, is good. Chatting with your bandmates. Yeah, that actually just devolves into really <laughs> dark, twisted <laughs> jokes, but I mean, that's even better than just staring at like sports cars yeah, for four hours. Yeah.